2005 feels like it's a lot longer than 11 years ago. It was back before the economic collapse ruined a lot of stuff, especially around video games. We were only one year into the Madden exclusivity crisis, we didn't have motion controls or Rock Band, uh, Tony Hawk games were still coming out at a yearly rate, there had only been one Animal Crossing game, Mortal Kombat, Duke Nukem, Donkey Kong Country, and a ton of other series hadn't quite been rebooted yet. And also in 2005, the Arena Football League seemed like it was on the up and up. Not like actually competing with the NFL or any major sporting leagues, but the league was expanding and it had some sort of media hold in a number of markets, and apparently it was successful enough to warn a game from EA Sports. Arena Football at a glance seems a lot better suited to a video game than regular gridiron football. People love the high-flying pass-heavy games like Super High Impact or NFL Blitz, and Arena Football is basically that. It's completely typical that a game would reach more than 7 touchdowns per team, uh, running the ball isn't really worthwhile, and there are huge hits, and your defensive strategy really doesn't mean all that much. It seems excellent for a game. Unfortunately, this doesn't totally translate well. This game is basically a slightly modified version of the Madden engine with a little extra stuff added. It's not supposed to be a simulation, but it's not exactly NFL Blitz, or more accurately, it's not exactly Kurt Warner's Arena Football Unleashed. I kind of appreciate the in-between nature of it, because if it had been a regular simulation, I don't know if it would have appealed to that many people. The actual gameplay is fun for maybe two or three drives. After that, you'll figure out that the game's basically broken. You can't necessarily guarantee a touchdown on any play, but you're not going to have a hard time scoring. If you get an open man running a go route one-on-one, -on -one, though, just pull the trigger and basically watch the scoreboard light up. Of course, a basically unstoppable offense leads to a tiring and ineffective defense. Basically, any time spent without the ball seems like a waste because you'll just score again once you get the ball back, and it doesn't even matter how you get it back, you're gonna get it back, and you're gonna score again. It's like playing as a hammer for half of the game and playing as a nail for the other half. Also, there is constant music playing throughout the game, and you can add your own MP3 soundtrack if you want to, and I absolutely wanted to. And I'm no music critic, and I don't know what Arena League fans are supposed to be into other than KISS, obviously, but this is the type of music I expected for other arena sports, like UFC or professional wrestling, specifically TNA, or opening for the Hawthorne Heights show I went to in 2006. You know, so cut my wrist and black my eyes, we're gonna wear sweaters over colored shirts, you're only gonna see my left eye and there's gonna be like one girl walking around an old house in our video, and we're gonna be flailing around in the parlor, etc, etc. Add all that stuff to the fact that you won't know who most of these players or teams are, and you'll find yourself in a bad place. If you're an Arena League fan, then this is as good as it gets, and you can decide whether or not that's good enough for you or not. Personally, I wouldn't go for it. Thank you.